In this video, I want to show you how to use Bloomberg to get information about earnings reports. So when you log into the computer in the Financial Studies Center in the first floor of the business building, log in just normally and then click on the Bloomberg button. And when Bloomberg comes up, if you don't have a Bloomberg account, you just click enter and down at the bottom it says create a new login just follow the instructions I will log in like I normally do and when you do this it brings up Bloomberg and what you can do very simply let's just pick a, a company the company I'm going to do is Yum they just reported earnings recently so I type in the ticker YUM and then on the keyboard I find the F8 button the F8 button says equity, and since Yum is a stock, I'll press the F8. When I press F8, it says equity, and then I will type the letters G and P, which is the graph, the price for Yum. For Yum. I hit enter, and the price for Yum comes up. You can see when they reported earnings, the stock price dropped dramatically. What I can do up here at the top has this button that says event on the top right. I'm going to click on event. When I click on that, this menu comes up and there's all kinds of things you can do. I could print on news, click on news, click on news, you'll see these, these headlines come up. Click on one of those, it gives me all kinds of articles on, on um, Yum, and you can click one of those and you can actually email yourself those articles. And close this. What I really want, not as not news, but earnings. So I'll click on the earnings button. And you'll see these little boxes, green and red, come up. If they're red, that means they missed earnings. I'm going to click on this one. This box comes up and shows us that this last quarterly earnings, their reported number was 1.004, but the adjusted number, their official number, was 1. So the difference in these two columns is any unusual items that they adjusted. So this column here, the compared number, is what the market's reacting to. Unfortunately, the market thought it was going to be one oh four two a dollar and four cents. They only reported a dollar, so they missed by four percent, and the stock actually fell eighteen percent. Now, what you can do is you can actually click on this output button up here, and you can take it to Excel. And when you take it into Excel, um, just click off of all the error messages that you get. And it will bring in all the earnings reports for this company back in history. Great information. You can go back to Bloomberg. And up here at the top, you have other choices. So you might want to look at revenue. You can click on revenue. And here you can see that they expected $3.4 billion in revenue. I mean, they reported $3.4 billion. The market was expecting 3.6. So again, they missed. And again, we can take this into Excel, just output it to Excel. You might look at margins, but all kinds of things you can look at to get information on your company. And then remember, to get out of this, you just hit the escape key. And remember, you can click on uh, news to get articles. And you can click on those articles. You can actually um, take those. Well, actually, up, up here at the very top right, there's a little button with the yellow on it. You can uh, export it, save it, it's a file, and then in actions are in send. Over here it says send, you can actually email it to yourself. So within Bloomberg itself, you can do almost your entire earnings report paper and just sit it in Bloomberg for a few hours and have the entire paper written before you leave Bloomberg.